was abusing Poké Prime Rain Gaming, trying to make to deliver you a PFCFL roster. Um, we have been uh, trying, you know, week in and week out to rebuild the team for the past couple of weeks, and uh, we, we, we got a good start going uh, when we were able to release Gardevoir and pick up Thunderous Therian, uh, who's really, really helped us out so far. And then uh, last week, we were able to drop um, Rodan Frost and pick up Armaldo, who uh, was actually uh, used in our most recent match against the Toronto Gyarados. Now, for this week, uh, I decided that uh, looking at our roster and looking at the future of the season, as much as I wanted to have a poison type on the team, um, every single time it came down to deciding who I would bring each week, if there was a necessity for a grass type, Shaman would always be chosen, 100% of the time. And if there is a need for poison type moves, I could probably pack those on one of my other mods pretty easily. So I decided, in the long run, Vileplume, who was a uh, free agency pickup earlier in the season, just wasn't going to cut it. Uh, the fall is great, don't get me wrong, and the special attack is, is fantastic, but it's just the typing, the typing, the, the poison typing is just bad, uh, addition onto the vile plume, the vile plume was just poison, or just, um, just poison, or just grass, I would be able to justify it a lot better to bring it, but it's, it's not, and the combination of the two just kind of ruins it, I mean, it, it takes away its resistance to ground type moves, which is really, really nice. You know, Shaman switches in really well on Earthquakes and Earth Powers, while uh, Vile Plume does still take a decent amount, uh, a decent neutral hit from it. And depending on the move, uh, depending on how I already built it uh, defensively, it just won't work. Um, I mean, it does add a fairy resistance, but we have a couple of those in our team, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but adding the psychic weakness on top of already having the three weaknesses uh, grass types normally do have um, really big pain in the butt. Uh, the only reason why I was able to justify a grass poison type last season with uh, Mega Venusaur was simply because it was just that Mega Venusaur. You know, thick fat took away the fire and ice weakness. Not really a big deal anymore. So we decided to drop Vileplume. So I looked through the NU and PU tiers. This is pretty much all I had to choose from. And I'll, I'll admit it was tough. It was tough trying to find a viable switch. I did want a fairy type on the team. I also needed psychic type stab uh, very badly. So thinking back, you know, Gardevoir was a great member of the team, but I needed something not much, I can't say so much better, but something to kind of fill Gardevoir's shoes. It doesn't have the bulk necessarily, but I think it'll do well. We have Mr. Mime. Um, Mr. Mime is a very interesting choice for me because I've never used Mr. Mime competitively. But if you look at the options, I mean, obviously, HP, attack, and defense wise, we're never going to make it a physical attacker. That's never going to happen, period. That would have never happened with Gardevoir. Defense isn't too far off. Gardevoir's defense is pretty trash as well. So that's not really too big a deal, it's just the HP stats, the big difference here. But um, a base 100 special attack, that's pretty fucking decent. It's not as high as Garden Wars again, but you know, at the end of the day, base 100 special attack's really good. Base 120 spadef, that's really, really good. It can be really good salt vest user and stuff like that. Base 90 speed. It's faster than Gardevoir. Immediately that makes it slightly better because things that would outspeed Gardevoir might not also outspeed Mr. Mime. So that's a thing. It also comes down to Mr. Mime's abilities as well. That's one thing that kind of hindered Gardevoir, you know, its abilities. Like, a trace is kind of interesting if you can use it appropriately and if you get lucky at times, but other times it's just kind of there, you know? And, uh, what, what's the other one? Isn't it? Uh, then she get telepathy, which is only good in doubles, and I can't even remember what its uh, third ability is, but it's not really... It's, overall, it's not as viable. In this case, Soundproof, for example. Uh, we face somebody who has 
a mom that spams hyper voices. You know, we we face somebody who has uh, a mom that can spam boom bursts. You know, stuff like that. We can just Mr. Mime's a safe switch to those things, especially if they decide to be choiced. Uh, we can just switch Mr. Mime in like that, and boom, uh, that move is nullified. Filter lessons. Uh, we only take three quarters damage from super effective attacks. You know, if in the cert if in the situation is necessary, we could pair that with a, uh, a a berry of some sort. That might that will cut the damage even further in half. Mr. Mom would could just pretty much just about live anything and then hit back really really hard. Technician is another really good ability, and I'll show you why in a second. You know, boost those 60 power moves. I'll show you in a second because Mr. Mom's coverage is amazing. I'm gonna go around to the move pool. Ignore those physical attacks. But you know, we can status things, we can calm mind set up, you know, stuff like that. We have charge beam, base 50 power, that's gonna get technician boosted. Confusion, technician boosted. Uh, we have counter if in the in those situations we can actually run counter. Uh, so we can guarantee live something and uh, hit it back really hard. That actually, hmm, we'll have to look at we'll have to look in the future and see if that's an idea. We have dazzling gleam for our fairy stab. It's pretty decent. We got moves like uh, if we want to put things to sleep, we got dream eater. That's pretty powerful. Energy ball, coverage, more coverage. Uh, we got Focus Blast, amazing coverage. Foul play, our attack stat's pretty shit, so we can actually put in a lot of work with the foul playing uh, Mr. Mime if we wanted to. Grass Knot, because we're not too heavy. We have Hidden Power, that will, that's what makes this thing so good. We can just slap a Hidden Power on it, and we have a base 90 power uh, move to hit something super effectively with, and that's pretty amazing, in my opinion. Uh, icy wind is is there. Infestation is there as well. If we want to stall things, um, magical leaf, uh, mud slap. If I really want to be cheeky, uh, psi beam, psychic, psi shock. You know, all of those moves are uh, boosted or are, are, are stabs, so that's pretty freaking useful. Uh, what do we, we got here? We got. We have weather setup, we have rain dance. I believe we also do get sunny day and solar beam as a combination if we really needed to. Signal beam, shockwave, which is technician boosted, shadow ball. Uh, round, if we wanted to use a normal type move, just for uh, something that is just extra coverage, I guess, if we didn't need any extra specific typings. Teeter dance, if we want to be really cheeky. Uh, taunt, T wave, you know, we can status some things. Uh, Thunderbolt and Thunder we have, uh, Tickle if I want to lower their stats. We've got, uh, Toxic, uh, Trick Room if I want to try to run a Trick Room team, Trick, if I want to trick a Choice Scarf maybe. You know, there's a lot of options here with Mr. Mime, a lot of options that we potentially can work with in the future. So, uh, hopefully Mr. Mime will, uh, do well for our team, and this is actually the last free agency pick we have for this season. Um, hopefully it'll work out for us. So uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys are hyped to see what the Hazel and Hoobas can do for the rest of PFCFL Season 2, please uh, also make sure to leave a like as well. And subscribe so you can follow the team in the future. And until next time, guys, I'm Poke Primer, signing off.